Objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to 1. Identify the different parts of the nervous system. 2. Describe the function of each part of the system. 3. Construct a model of a nerve cell. 4. Understand how the nervous system performs its functions. 5. Cite the importance of taking care of the nervous system. 6. Enumerate illnesses associated with the nervous system. What will you do in the following situations? You saw a car heading toward your way, while you are walking down the street. While talking to your classmate, you saw her nose bleeding. Your mom is washing the dishes, when suddenly your baby sister started crying. Have you ever wondered how and where did you manage to get those answers? What part or system of your body is responsible for making decisions in those situations? That's correct, your brain is responsible for it, which is an organ in your nervous system. What is the nervous system and its function? The nervous system is the control center of your body that tells other systems in your body what to do. It controls, monitors, and coordinates all body parts and processes by receiving and sending signals or messages from one part of the body to the other. The parts of the nervous system. The nervous system consists of the brain, spinal cord, and the neurons. The neurons are the building blocks of the nervous system. The brain. It is the major organ of your nervous system that is protected by your skull. Different types of neurons make up and form the brain. It has three major parts, the cerebrum, cerebellum, and the brainstem. The cerebrum handles your thinking and learning processes like memorizing a poem, learning a new language, solving a math problem, and applying reasoning. This part of your brain also processes the different messages coming from your sense organs. Following the cerebrum is the second largest part of the brain called the cerebellum. It helps execute fine muscle movements and keep your balance, coordination, and posture. The brainstem allows coordination between your brain and your spinal cord as it connects these two major parts of the nervous system. It controls your basic life functions, such as the beating of your heart, breathing, and digestion. The spinal cord. It is a long and thick bundle of neurons that connects the brain to the neurons scattered all over your body. All the neurons found in the different parts of your body are connected to the spinal cord. The spinal cord is like a message relay center. It receives messages from the different parts of the body and sense organs and sends them to the brain. It also receives instruction messages from the brain and sends them to the neurons in the other parts of your body. Both the brain and the spinal cord are protected by a special covering or membrane called meninges and fluid material called the cerebrospinal fluid or CSF. They provide shock-absorbing support to keep the brain and spinal cord steady and in place all the time. The CSF also collects waste materials from neurons in the brain and the spinal cord. Removing waste helps prevent the buildup of toxins or dangerous materials that may cause harm to the brain and the spinal cord. The neuron. The different parts of your body communicate with each other through electrical signals. This type of communication happens with the help of the neuron. Neurons collect carry, and deliver electrical signals throughout the different body parts, including your brain and the spinal cord. It comprises a cell body or soma, dendrites, and axon. The cell body is the central part that supports the health and function of the entire neuron. The dendrites receive the message from another neuron and bring the message to the cell body. The axon transmits the message away from the cell body to the next neuron. How do neurons work? 1. Dendrites receive messages or signals from another cell. Once it enters the neuron, 
the message becomes a form of electric charge called action potential. 2. From the cell body, this action potential travels to the length of the axon. 3. When the electric charge reaches the end of the axon, it becomes a chemical material called neurotransmitter. 4. The neurotransmitter exits the neuron and goes to the synapse and is received by another neuron or another body cell. The synapse is the region or space where the message from one neuron passes through to reach another neuron or cell. When your nervous system is healthy, you can do a lot every day. Follow these ways to keep your nervous system healthy. 1. Eat healthy food that is rich in calcium, potassium, fats and B vitamins such as fruits, vegetables, fish and nuts. 2. Have enough sleep or rest. 3. Do regular physical exercises or activities. 4. Engage in brain-stimulating activities such as working on puzzles and games, reading various types of texts, and listening to a variety of instrumental music. 5. Observe good hygiene practices, especially when handling food and drinks. 6. Strictly follow safety precautions that protect your head, neck, or back from injuries. Ailments of the nervous system. Here are some conditions that may result from nervous system infection, injury, and unhealthy conditions. Meningitis. It is an acute inflammation of the meninges or the protective covering of your brain and spinal cord. This condition can result from another illness, physical brain damage or accidents, or an infection by microorganisms, like bacteria, virus, fungus, and others. Meningitis disrupts the normal function of your brain, which may result to terrible headaches and other unusual pains or muscle stiffness. Similar to other infectious brain diseases, vaccines are available to help prevent the spread of meningitis. Hydrocephalus. It is a brain swelling condition that results from an abnormal buildup of cerebrospinal fluid, or CSF, in the brain. When the passageway of the CSF becomes blocked, it creates a physical bulge or swell in the brain. This swell adds pressure to the brain parts surrounding it, resulting to headaches and some brain function problems like vision problems. The cause of hydrocephalus is not yet confirmed but may be associated with a variety of causes, such as injury, inherited condition, tumor, or a complication of another brain infection. Parkinson's disease. This condition develops when the neurons in the brain areas that control movement die or get impaired. Having less neurons can lead to a decrease in the production of important neurotransmitters. People with this condition suffer from an unconscious trembling of limbs and coordination and balance problems. In worse cases, even involuntary body functions are affected. Alzheimer's disease. It is a brain disorder that can lead to memory loss. Similar to Parkinson's disease, this condition develops when neurons become unhealthy and when there's an unusual buildup of harmful materials. The once healthy nerve connections break down, leading to a decreased production of some neurotransmitters. The damage often starts at the hippocampus, the brain part mainly responsible for memory processing. People with this condition experience problems remembering things and later, even with daily activities that rely on skills stored in the memory. Today, people at age 60 and above are at high risk for developing Parkinson's or Alzheimer's disease. Schedule a visit to a neurologist when you feel a combination of the following. Fever with cold hands and feet. Headache vomiting, stiff muscle or muscle pains, trembling of hands, arms, legs and face or head, movement coordination and balance problems, vision problems, enlargement of head or bulge formation, consistent pattern of forgetfulness. Remember that appropriate patient care advice depends on correct diagnosis or identification of your condition.
Care for patients with nervous system problems may include lifestyle changes, medicines, therapies, and family support as some of these problems may leave patients feel severely frustrated about their condition. Practice exercise. Get a paper or bond paper and pencil. Draw and label a model of a nerve cell. I know that's hard, but good job you got the correct answer. Lesson Recap What are the three major parts of the nervous system? That's correct, the brain, spinal cord, and nerve cells. What do you think would happen if you do not have a nervous system in your body? Correct. All your body parts will be in chaos and will not coordinate with one another. How does the nervous system control or manage the different parts of the body? Correct. It starts with a sense organ or another organ in the body sending a status message for the brain. The nerve cell surrounding the organ receives this message and sends it to a nearby nerve cell until the message reaches the spinal cord. The spinal cord sends the message to the brain. The brain interprets the message in a specific brain part, then it sends another message on what the body will do. The spinal cord receives the message from the brain and sends it to the nerve cell surrounding the organ that will perform the brain's instruction. How do you take care of your nervous system? That's correct. You keep your nervous system healthy when you 1. Eat healthy food that is rich in calcium, potassium, fats and B vitamins such as fruits, vegetables, fish and nuts. 2. Have enough sleep or rest. 3. Do physical exercise or activities regularly. 4. Engage in brain-stimulating activities such as working on puzzles and games, reading various types of texts, and listening to a variety of instrumental music. 5. Observe good hygiene practices, especially when handling food and drinks. 6. Strictly follow safety precautions that protect your head, neck, or back from injuries. What are examples of illnesses associated to the nervous system? Correct. These illnesses include meningitis, hydrocephalus, Parkinson's disease, and Alzheimer's disease. 